Hi, my name is Jenny Bate and I'm going to be showing you how I do one of my mixed media paintings. I'm going to be doing a four panel painting on panels like these. And I'm going to be doing a dawn, a noon, a sunset and a night skyscape from my place across the Salton Sea. There are three different techniques in my paintings. The first is refracted watercolour. I paint each individual skyscape in wet and wet watercolour, which means I wet the paper at thoroughly both sides and then drop in the colour. It spreads on top of the water and creates nice soft clouds in the same way that the clouds in the sky do. Later I will cut up each of the paintings and put them back together again. This makes it refractured watercolour. While I'm painting, I'll also be thinking about a poem that I will write for the painting and later paint into the finished product. Once I've completed each painting, I'll lay them out on paper towels to help them dry. The three of the four skies are based on actual skyscapes off my back porch. Only the fourth one is out of my head. This is an area where I have to work very fast in order to complete the painting before the water dries. The first dawn painting that I'm going to create has this following poem written into it. Morning. Clouds ignite today. Light turns the water to fire. Salt and sea reflects. This is one of the unusual sunset looking east paintings. Most people look west to sunset to see beautiful clouds, but it's good sometimes to look the other way. In the night skyscape, I'm using a special watercolor technique. I add salt in order to create the stars. Now I'm going to cut all of my beautiful paintings up in little pieces. Circles to represent the sun in the morning, raindrops to represent the storm at noon, clouds for the afternoon sunset, and finally, of course, stars for the night. The noon painting has the following poem into, written into it. Red dawn promised rain. Noon has delivered the goods. Refreshing liquid. Sometimes people ask me if my work is digital. Yes, I use all ten digits when I'm creating them. The evening painting will have the following poem in it. The last wisps of clouds, drying the setting sun, promising a clear night. Now I'm going to be arranging individual pieces on the panels. I make them flow from one cloud into the other, even though the pieces weren't necessarily painted together. Once I've done that, I pick up each piece and mark its place and number it so that it will go back down in exactly where I had it in the first place. The evening poem is going to be The last wisps of clouds drying in the setting sun, promising a clear night. Gluing in one dimension is easy with a book. In two, it's a little harder, especially without a flat edge to use a clamp, so I'm having to hold them manually. The night poem is as follows. The secret of stars, inspiring a girl's best friend. Men leap towards them. Here I'm painting the poetry into each individual painting. I'll now add a horizon line to unite all four paintings. This is an approximation of the chocolate mountains that I can see from my studio window. The next stage is adding acrylic to match the refractured watercolor all the way around the edge as if it were a gallery wrap panel. A precursor to this stage that I have not shown is spraying the refractured watercolor part with an acrylic glaze in order to seal the watercolor. 
As an interesting aside, we had about 20 hours of footage that we put down into six minutes, and this does not include the time that I spent in preparing the panels and reglazing the paintings when I had completed them. The last stage is finishing off the horizon and the hills in acrylic to match the ones on the refractive watercolour area. The painting is called The Four Hours of Equinox. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you like my work, you can see more of it online on my website at skyscapesforthesoul.com.